This project we're focusing on teaching the girls how to code, but not just how to code, but to code for the betterment of society. So we're really excited about them learning to use technology, not just for the skills that they'll learn in coding, but to do something good for their, their community with it. What excites me about Code for the Cure is how innovative it is. It's an opportunity to reach families in a new way. So we're not talking to young women who are going to get breast cancer tomorrow. They're way too young. Instead, we're able to educate their families through educating them. It's bringing education to the entire community in a way we haven't been able to do before. Girls are usually the consumers of technology and not the designers of technology. We need to get more female voices and female representation in the design and coding of things that predominantly hit the female population. So I'm super excited about that. We're doing a hackathon to make an app for uh, breast cancer. I'm definitely excited because coding is something that I've done before, but I haven't gotten this much into it, and it's a really good topic to code about. There's also a little bit of nervousness because, well, there's it's a competition, and there are 20 teams, and it's they're, we're really good, smart <laughs> engineering students. There are a lot of women in my family who've been affected by breast cancer, and I think it's, it makes me happy to know that things that I use every day, like technology, are, are able to help people like my grandma. We wanted to make it really easy for uh, women and men with uh, breast cancer or just being conscious about their breast health to be able to get the resources they need. Like if you want to get a mammogram, like there's ways you can like find a clinic. This project is teaching me to like communicate with others. Most of the jobs that we'll have is more around computers and it's just going to help us in the future more to find more jobs and have more opportunities. It's crazy how many women actually have breast cancer. It's one in eight women and that's really scary. It's a scary number. Now I feel like I can go into the path of like tech and coding and still help the world. A common theme is just to empower young girls and take on challenges and even if you don't think you can do something just know that you do have the power and the capacity to do something new or something that you're uncomfortable with. Rika and Isabel, congratulations. It feels like I'm in a dream and I think it shows that like we even as kids can make a difference in the world and in like problems that seem unsolvable. Well, it feels really good for me because my mom is a breast cancer survivor and I feel like I helped her by doing this and being able to win proves that like I can do something to help. I hope that we save somebody's life. That's what I hope comes out of this project. I hope that one of these young women goes home and shares what she's learned, shares the app, talks to a friend or an aunt or a mom, and because of that conversation, she goes and gets screened and catches that breast cancer before it becomes metastatic. That's what I hope comes out of this.